Hello, this is a tutorial on how to back up your machine using Genie Timeline Professional. Um, I'm just going to start here by going to step one and selecting the drive to go for. Um, you can also go for different destinations, i.e. Um, network shares, NAS drives, um, even if you've got WebDAV there as well. But I'm just going to go for um, my secondary hard drive. You can also go for external hard drives, but um, there, there might be a bit of a risk doing that sometimes, especially if you don't um, if you set this for a schedule and you don't have it plugged in, it won't be backing up. So I'm just going for secondary hard drive. Um, you can also select um, file types, uh, financial files, iTunes compress files, bookmarks and you've got other regular types here like um, Outlook email, um, Windows mail, Live mail etc. Um, you can drill down a bit further and go for other drives so for instance on your C drive you you want to back up um, some, some files that might be outside this smart selection. Um, you can also go for disaster recovery protection so that's more backing up your windows installation I'm not going to go for that at this stage um, and you've got ebooks and PDF files Kindle books etc um, if you go next um, it's going to give you some um, compression options and encryption types um, I'm not going to go for that at this point but you can do that to save space if need be and if you click next now um, it's just verifying the backup selections and estimating the data size and it's literally going to run that in the background now and you've also um, got some other selection here um, you've got disaster recovery startup disk that's a bolt-on that you'd have to download separately that enables you to boot off a disk and um, literally, especially if you've got you've, you're backing up to external drive or a secondary hard drive that may be in your machine. Um, this is a desktop machine, but on the laptop you probably won't have that option. So you'll be backing up to um, external drive. You can literally use a um, boot up CD. So for it's your Windows operating system not working anymore and boot off that CD and literally go into restore mode and um, go back to when um, restore your machine to literally how it was um, the last time it was backed up um, you've also got advanced settings here for the retention size we're not going to go through drill for the, down through that you've also got game mode um, a lot of antivirus software you've got that option so you can literally pause that while you're playing games or movies. Um, also got um, the default backup interval. This will back up. Once you've set that up, this will back up every eight hours. You can set it to, to back up more often. And you can set the email notifications here. Use my own server, etc. But I'm not going to select that. And you've also got an app for the um, iPhone or iPad um, which will allow you to monitor your backups from your devices when you're outside the home and then this is just more options here that you can go through um, if need be I'm just going to go out of that and then we can look at the restore options here um, you've got smart selections for those of you that have probably used um, the an Apple Mac you've got time machine you can go back um, day by day um, in this you probably may if, if you set it to go every eight hours so you can go back say for instance eight hours we we haven't got a um, option there to do that but as you can see you can go through and look at whatever you've backed up and literally drag and drop or you can go into advanced restore and you've got smart selections here um, by video type 
your mail type, etc. So a lot of people may not know where their um, files are um, backed up to on their machine, especially Outlook files. They are they are in a um, specific place on your machine, so you may just want to go to Smart Selections and then look to to back up. I mean, restore your emails. Um, if you go back now, you've also got your disaster recovery, but that's literally to uh, to make your startup this restart, and then you can go back in and restore it to how it was. Um, and it literally was there in the background, so that's a way of mon also monitoring your backups. We're at about forty nine percent, but we haven't got a particularly um, large set of files to, to back up so that's why that, that's done that quite quickly um, you've got turbo mode here which will just speed things up for you and you've got very high level of um, how quickly that's running and you've got some social media bits and pieces there but you don't really need to worry about that too much and you've got how much free space you've got there, there etc um, and that's a high level of um, the the data types there for Outlook, videos, etc. Um, that's the end of the tutorial. Um, please, um, if you like this tutorial, um, like it on YouTube. We've also got a Twitter page and a Facebook page that you can visit. Um, if you've got any questions, please leave comments at the end of um, watching this tutorial. Thank you very much.